It's my birthday month, so guess what? For all the people who comment things, you need to get better makeup. You need to get that fancy beauty, Michelle. You need this, you need this, you need this. My PayPal is michellemcd543 at yahoo.com. If you are so worried about what I look like, then you can purchase and or send me the money through my PayPal. Yeah, that's what I thought. And enjoy the story. Okay, you guys, part two, leading up to me getting fired from LA Fitness. I suggest going in order with these videos, but you don't have to. But I thought it would be cool to see all the things that happened from when I started to when I got my booty fired from this horrid chick. But that's not this story. This story is about all the sex that happened in LA Fitness. And who's having all the sex in LA Fitness? You got it, the LA Fitness manager. Just so you guys know, all these stories are gonna be about the managers. All of them. So in this story, I've been working for LA Fitness for about three months and I've already had about three different bosses. So three different managers. The turnover at the LA Fitness I was at was just incredible. So we are on manager number three. You know what, while we're here, let's just list out all the characters in this video so we don't get confused. In cartoon form, of course. So we have the main manager, he was Mexican. Let's call him Taco. I called this chick from this other video, Africa, so I wanna see if people get upset like a few black people did from that video, even though the chick did look like she was from Africa. The name fit. Then we have the weekend manager who was black, I'm calling him Chicken. We have my client who was white, let's call her No Seasoning. Check out the video about the time that my boyfriend made me dinner, if you're wondering why I'm saying that. We have the other weekend manager, I'm not too sure, like if they alternate, I honestly didn't care. I know Chicken would say that he was the weekend manager and so did this guy. It wasn't my problem, I just wanted to make sure I was getting paid. And I honestly have no clue what this guy was, so I'm just gonna call him, yeah, let's just put a question mark right there, he's question mark. So chicken was BFF with question mark, question mark was dating, no seasoning, and chicken had a girlfriend and two kids with her that are not in this story. And the main manager, Taco, would be slithering around, hitting on anything with a vagina and a leg. Honestly, they all would. If you're watching, do not act like you didn't. I have great ears, I heard the things that you guys would say, you know, behind my back what I could actually hear. I worked there all day and all of you had your honey of the out that you would constantly talk to throughout their whole workout. So just own it and don't act like, Michelle, we're friends. What, what, why, why are you doing me dirty like this? All of you unfollowed me on Instagram, so I'm pretty sure friends don't do that. Okay, so at a dark and stormy night at LA Fitness, not many people were there. It's around 8.30 and I finished my last client. No seasoning. And when I get done, I'm done. I want to get home and walk Watch YouTube videos and or cartoons. I will, when I'm done, I sprint out the door. I will not look back. So I was making my way out the door and I noticed no seasoning at chickens desk. And I was like, why would she want to stay around here longer? Doesn't she want to go home and get the hell out of here? But then, I mean, she doesn't work there, so she probably really likes it. So that's when I exit the story. I'm not in there anymore. Oh, you thought I was having the sex in LA Fitness? Nope, I didn't really hang out with those people, nor did I want to have sex with them. I'm basically telling this story so that you can understand all the main big juicy things that happened while I was there. So then I explain how I got fired and you can be enraged and salty with me all at the same time. We're gonna be one big salty virtual family all together. Okay, so I know I'm not in the rest of the story, but remember, no seasoning was my client. So she confirmed pretty much everything. In fact, she told me more than what I needed to know. Okay, so back to our dark and stormy nights at LA Fitness. There's a front desk guy who reminded me of Shaggy. Legit talk just like it. There's two gym members, no seasoning and chicken left at the gym. So chicken and no seasoning are talking from the time that I left up until closing. Front desk guy makes the announcement, the gym will be closing in five minutes. Please finish up your workout and get out. No seasoning goes up and talks to the front desk guy, Shaggy, and says, hey man, give me the key to the gym and I'll close for you, dude, okay? Trust me, man, do this thing for me, man. Just give me that little key right there. Yeah, 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 that key right for you. Just this once, man, you can trust me. Trust no one will know but you, me, and no seasoning over there. And Shaggy gives in to peer pressure, and what does he do? He gives chicken 
the key. So the two members that were left leave and it's on like Donkey Kong for no seasoning and chicken. According to what no seasoning told me, they were doing it everywhere. In the gym, the place where we work out. Booty juices flowing on the Stairmaster, the bench press, the machine that goes in and out with your thighs, the AB ductor and AD ductor, the thing that I call the sex machine. They were doing the sex on the sex machine. That was just a joke that I would say. You're not supposed to do the sex on that machine. How did they even do that? They were some creative individuals. So they were doing it everywhere in the gym along with drinking a lot. Alcohol was definitely involved. Eventually they made their sexcapade into the pool area. So they're having a good old time doing their thing in the pool area and all of a the sudden there's lights shining through the huge windows to the pool area and it was the damn police. So I can't remember exactly what happened but Chicken did lock the front doors but he didn't put in a code or he didn't, you know, do something. I think he didn't put in a code. And when you don't put in that code, the silent alarms at LA Fitness goes off. So the police were thinking that this is a break-in. So the police kicked down the doors, get down on the floor. They slammed no seasoning to the ground like 0.1 second after saying that. Chicken decides to run. Where is he trying to run to? He's butt ass naked and drunk wet from the pool. Where are you going? So they didn't even need to attack him. He fell to the floor. So the next day I hear all this stuff from Shaggy, the front desk guy, because he got in trouble for giving the key to this guy that's not supposed to be closing. And my client who still came into the gym confirmed it and told me more. So Chicken ended up getting moved to another location according to my boss. He didn't get fired. My girl, my client, still was able to come into the gym. Um, I don't think, as far as I know, any kind of consequences happened. I mean, she trained with me for like a month or two after all of this stuff happened. Both were back and able to come into the original gym where they had their little thing going on and no questions were asked when they came in and out. They didn't have any kind of issue. So question mark acted like this was the worst thing in the world that ever happened to him, even though he cheated, according to sources, cheated on no seasoning. And the way he acted in the gym when she wasn't there, well, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if the rumors were true. And Taco acted like this was the most awesome thing ever. And you would think as a leader, you would want your gym, your team to represent professionalism. All the members knew what happened. It was the talk of the gym town. And people looked at the LA Fitness staff as irresponsible, unprofessional goofballs, even more so now. And Taco, the main manager, acted like some immature frat dude about the whole situation. So why did they not care that all of this happened and that it looked really unprofessional and blah, blah, blah? Because they all used LA Fitness to cheat on their significant others. Even some of the women, chicken, didn't follow the protocol for after hour gym sex. So you're probably thinking, what does this story have to do with you? Me. Well, I thought that I would tell you the stories about the managers, you know, the people in charge, the people that lead us and are supposed to be professional, what they would do that didn't get them fired, and then tell you the story about when I got fired by one of these managers. Oh, I can't wait to get to that last part of this LA Fitness series. So eventually Taco, my third manager slash boss, gets moved or fired. I'm not too sure what happened to him. You never know, they kind of just fall off into the darkness of an abyss. And we're just gonna skip through boss number four, five, six, seven, and that takes us to number eight. This is when they start hiring females. And I'm someone who loves other women in the workplace because, I mean, the personal training field is dominated by men, at least at, at a lot, all the places that I worked at. It's like, I'm usually the only female trainer. So in my head, I was like, this is awesome. I'm gonna have a friend. So this is the part of the story where it all just turns to high school. My God, I love your skirt. Where did you get it? Uh, it was my mom's in the 80s. <gasps> Vintage. So adorable. Thanks. <laughs> that is the ugliest effing skirt I've ever seen. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. Until next video. If we have one more video and then we can get to the finale of the time that I got fired from LA Fitness. <laughs>
So make sure you're all caught up, you watched part two, and you have the notifications on so you do not miss a video so you can watch the finale. So once again, don't forget to hit that notification button. Subscribe to this channel if you want more content like this. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this story. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Hope you guys enjoyed the story and I will see you guys next time. Oh, I have a long sleeve shirt on, I can't flex this time. Okay, bye.